So I'm here with the host, and you know, we are celebrating this uh, community hospital. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know if there is a cool story that happened to you at a hospital, because everybody has bad stories at a hospital, but maybe a nurse, maybe something amazing. You know, um, gosh, it's been a minute. It's been about 20 years, but um, my mother had a brain tumor. And um, they actually found her in a hotel room. She had seizures and everything, and they took her straight to the hospital. And when, um, uh, by the time we got to the hospital, they had operated on her. And so I remember walking in the room, there were tubes coming out of her head, and it was pretty scary. And I was kind of, I kind of stepped back, and the nurse kind of grabbed my hand, and she walked me over, and she said, you know what, she's going to be all right. You um, come on over here and talk to her. And sure enough, I went over, and my mom opened her eyes, and she's, you know, kind of a little... A little groggy but it was a beautiful moment because she's still here with us today and that's been about 22 23 years wow yeah. well we send a big hug to your mom yeah and my hey, last mom. thing is would you say something in spanish for my channel it's called what the hell did you say yeah sure um ha <laughs> hola <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, okay, so uh, this is real. I, I'm, I'm in the middle of my Rosetta, Stone, my Rosetta Stone Spanish right now. My wife works right down the street, and she's a um, public defender, and she speaks fluent Spanish. Meanwhile, um, I'm struggling. I'm sure, right. How about you surprise your wife? You tell her tonight, mi amor, te amo. Well, that, I got that one. I've, I've told her that before, mi amor, te amo. And, um, you know, she, she is, will always be my novia. Aww. There you go. Gracias. Gracias. All right, we got selfie we're stick. I like super it. Super modern, right? Oh god, now I can see what I look like. That's and terrible. You look great. Ah. <laughs> Congratulations on being honored tonight. You are having well today, this morning. Sorry, yes. I'm afraid it's, it's hard to tell. And uh, you have an amazing show. Like, Thank it's you. So pretty. Well, I, I will say that uh, the nurses in the hospitals are the most incredible thing in the world. And every time, this show was created for my son, who has asthma, and we spent a lot of time at hospitals, and it was scary for him. But at the same time, he gets the most incredible care. And what we wanted him to know was that you go into a hospital, and those people are going to take incredible care of you. They're incredible people. And I think the kids walk in expecting there to be a purple hippo when they walk into a hospital, which may or may not be problematic. Um, but I think they know that there's love and caring when they walk into that space, even if they're facing something that's a little scary. And, and that's really important to me. Oh, well, all right. Well, uh, buenos dias. There you go. <laughs> Gracias. De nada. Adios. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> I think if you visit the hospital, the first thing you'll see is this incredible building. And it's really awesome. I mean, it's so beautiful. And then you'll say, well, I'm glad it's a pretty building, but what's inside? And then you'll walk inside and you will see people getting the highest level of health care. You'll see wonderful doctors. You'll see wonderful equipment. You'll see wonderful nurses, wonderful technicians, and you'll be inspired. And you'll feel that if anyone you know gets sick, that that's where they should go for care. Yeah. Are you afraid of hospitals? No. Nice. Because I think hospitals are my friend. I think that hospitals can't save everybody, but they can sure save most people. So I view the hospital as my friend, not a place to be afraid of. Mucho gracias. <laughs> Adios. Adios, amigos. It was a pleasure to be on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you super proud of your son right now? Yes, I am. Are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> and he just laughed, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to know, do you have, because you have to deal uh, with hospitals, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, nice. Don't, Don't cut us, okay? Uh, no, I'm not. Be, be I'm good not. at this. cut my head off, so I had to. <laughs> <laughs> Look at he's so vain. Mm -hmm. uh, Anthony had a heart. Uh, they thought it was Lyme disease, and everybody saying he was going to die, and I didn't. I had a... a I called all my prayer warriors, and we lined sunset up, and everybody prayed, and he pulled through. Wow, we are so happy that God let us have him now. And well, guys, my last thing, you have to say something in Spanish for my channel. What the hell did you say? See. See. Chinele. See, and uh, uh, hola, bonita, como estas? Bien, y tú? Gracias. Bien, bien, bien. Gracias. That's all I got. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Great job holding the camera. Yes. Yeah,
You look so handsome. That's a that's a glare. There you go. Okay, there you go. Mm-hmm. We got the best one. Oh, is that we got the best one? Yeah. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, ask your questions now. I would like you to share a story that happened to you at the hospital, but that is a sweet story, not not a scary one. The sweet the story that happened to me at the hospital was every time my mommy went to the hospital, she would bring her big purse. And while we were waiting when the doctors walk out, my mother would fill her purse with all the band-aids, the benadine, all those long, they're not even Q-tips, but they were the long pieces of wood with a swab on the end. Uh, yeah, so my mother would do all that and all the gauze. And then uh, my mama, would. we would never buy Q-tips because my mom would always steal them long things, so we would have to do that. But that's my mama. Yeah. But you love them. I loved it, yeah. I still got gauze to this day from 30 years ago that my mama stole from the hospital. Kaiser Permanente and MLK. Look, she right there, her mama. Her mama, tell the truth and shame the devil. There she is right there. We talked to her. I yes. have her on camera saying beautiful things about you. Yeah, she should say beautiful yeah. things about me. I write a check to her every month. Well, my last thing, mm -hmm. I want you to say something in Spanish for my website. What the hell did she say? Um. <laughs> you have to say it. Come no. on. Come on. No. <laughs> nope, not gonna say it out loud. Don't they style la playa? <laughs> Don't they style la bibliotheque? <laughs> Como esta usted? Gracias. Okay. Gracias. De nada. Adios. All right, yes, ham, cheese, and bacon. <laughs> Well, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You just have to click the bottom above. Follow me on Twitter and find me on Facebook. What the hell did she say? Interviews by Vanessa Lua. Thank you so much. Adios.